Till now, we have seen how to get data and click the element. The first main thing to understand here is we are running on Chrome, right? You can go with Edge as well and Firefox as well. Let's test with Edge first. So let me give your Edge driver. Okay, Edge driver. And here, tell Edge driver over on it and uh, you will get edge driver import edge driver now let me run this application on edge run java application save exception we have some exception unsolved error so we have so here remove that line of code Save this project first. Let's comment this code now. Because we, we are only going to check, we are not going to perform the action. Let's comment it and save this. Run as Java application. And here you can see the driver has launched the particular application okay which is edge driver now let's try with firefox also firefox driver and here also just tell firefox driver So here I have changed it to Firefox. Let's save this and run. You can see the application got launched on Firefox. Okay. So yeah, that's it guys. In this video, I have uh, explain how to launch uh, your and so this same thing you can validate also so let us see the validation of this thing let's still validating browsers so how do i validate browser let me comment it or else let me tell string okay and I will tell browser name is equal to I am telling Chrome. So I have created a variable and given the value as Chrome and the variable is of string data type. Then here I will just write an if else if browser name is Chrome then launch the chrome driver paste copy paste so here change this to chrome driver and here change this to chrome driver okay if the browser is chrome launch the chrome driver okay that is because here i have the same driver driver let us comment it okay and tell driver else if if the browser name is edge we'll give edge then launch the edge browser correct right so if it is edge copy this two line of code paste and change this to edge driver okay else if copy paste else if it is firefox 
launch the Firefox driver. Copy, paste, copy, paste. Okay, this is just a validation part. So what happens here is when you change, you just no need to change everywhere. When you change this particular name, it will launch the browser accordingly. So here I have given Chrome. Let us copy this. I mean, paste it, paste it, paste it. Okay. The browser name which I have given is Chrome. So I'll right click, run Java application, open in Chrome. So this is nothing but the browser configuration and the validation part which is being done. This also we'll do it in a different way when we are working on project. So there is another way like uh, getting the name from a property file, reading this name from a property file. So this will not be mentioned directly. So we are going to read this from a property file. We'll see that in upcoming videos. So yeah, that's it in this video. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any doubt or suggestion, do let me know in the comment section. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video.